Hey, Hype Youth. Hope y'all are doing well. I'm here to bring you a quick word of encouragement to seek God's direction in your life. Um, so after Moses had um, brought the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt, he was leading them through the wilderness and then he died and Joshua was leading them into the land that God has pro had promised them. So in Joshua chapter 9 verses 121, um, Joshua was leading them in. God said, go take over the land, drive out all the people of the cities um, and he would give them, he promised to give them victory even um, in the hard battles that were you know, against so many more people than them that they had, um, big armies of people. They had, God had said that he would give them victory over them. Um, and so what happened was a lot of the Israelites would end up, um, worshiping other gods, um, sacrificing to idols and just doing all this crazy stuff that was not God's, um, that was against God's word. And so, in some of the lands, um, the Canaanites ended up dwelling there with them because they didn't drive them all out as God had told them to. Um, but then they, there was a few that they drove everybody out and God had given them victory over. And these people called the Gibeonites um, were from a land really close that was part of the promised land. So they had heard about um, these people, these Israelites coming and driving people out. And so they were scared. So what they did was they devised a plan to... Um, trick the Israelites um, into thinking that they were not from the promised land, that they were from this far off country. And what they did was they closed themselves, they clothed themselves all in up like with um, worn out clothes, super raggedy clothes and, um, you know, like uh, just worn out sandals and old crusty, they had all this old crusty bread with them. And they came to Joshua and they said, oh, hey, we, we've traveled all this way to come see you. We heard about your God that you serve and we wanted to come serve you and please make this covenant with us that you won't kill us um, and just let us like dwell in this land with you. And um, basically just pretended and completely deceived them. Um, and so Joshua, it's so funny because Joshua was actually had this amazing communication with God all throughout his leadership. And he was communicating with God and God was telling him, okay, this is what you have to do. This is exactly what you have to do. This is how you have to do it. Um, and so all he had to do was go ask God, Hey, is this the right thing to do? And what should I make this covenant with these people and let them stay here? Um, but he didn't. <laughs> so just like us, like we do all the time, we make big decisions without consulting God first. Um, and so he was deceived by the people. They ended up um, making the covenant. And so it was forbidden to break the covenant. So they couldn't kill them after. There was three days, I think, after they made the covenant where three days later was when they found out they were just from this land that was like six miles away. Um, and they couldn't kill them or anything. So <laughs> the people, the Gibeonites, were successful in their mission to not get killed. Um, and they ended up living there with them. Um, but, but yes, Joshua should have, um, and could have easily. And this is the thing we're, we're so, we take, we take for granted so much that we have a direct line to God. Um, because he sent us Jesus, we have a direct communication with him. We can seek him first and, um, wait. It's hard to wait, especially in our day and in this day and age where everything is so immediate. Everything is instant. And, uh, it's hard to wait. It's hard to wait on the Lord, but it's very, very important. It's, it's always worth it. And I mean, I'm definitely guilty of making decisions without consulting him first, but if I do consult him first, it's always way better. His plan is always way better than our plans. And it's, that's what he wants from us. He wants us to seek him first, just like our, our earthly parents, um, you know, there's different decisions that you make that you should really consult them first. Um, and it's honoring to him. It's going to, if you end up going, say you end up not consulting him first and then you make your own decision and you could be missing out on something so amazing that he has for you. Um, and you would never even know it. So always seek his direction um, seek God first, and if you want God to speak to you, open up your Bible, and He will. And uh, study it, meditate on it, and learn it. Um, and He will show you His character, and He will He will guide you, and help you.
Um, and that's your word of encouragement today. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you um, continue to seek him and um, get closer with him and be blessed.